That's a good sign of a crap game or a game that is just very badly optimized. Dihon Monsters Challenge Circus. Or Dihon, or actually just Monster Challenge Circus on the Steam page. I split the difference and say Dihon Monster Challenge Circus. But really, this game, you can call it whatever you want to, really. Oh god, I love the story to this game. It is so it's bad. It's like, I'm gonna go eat evil. I'm going to literally murder evil so hard it's gonna, like, just die. I think this is the trailer. I think this intro is the trailer they used on Steam. That makes sense. But yeah, the story of this game is pretty good. It's very similar to uh, Doom Repercussions of Evil, if you're familiar with that one. Are you sure it's pretty good? Is that... are you being serious? <laughs> I don't know, that's a good question. But um, I just... I just am amused by the idea that you're so pissed off at evil that you're gonna go to the evil's home dimension and then eat it. That's literally the story, pretty much. This whole intro is like a death metal, like, band music video. I know, it's great! It's... or like a goth... like... a goth music video or something, I don't know, it's just ridiculous. It is pretty preposterous. But yeah, they show some of the powers in the video. They'll teach you how to use them. Will they teach me? I believe in the levels. I like that the loading... Well, you unlock them slowly is... through the the adventure mode, so... Okay. There's also an instruction panel that tells you how the abilities work. That's excellent. I believe it's called... Uh, okay, so synopsis. first things first, you told me beforehand to go through and change the key bindings, because apparently... Some of these abilities aren't even bound to buttons, so we're just going to, uh... Right, and it's very handy to have them on buttons, because, okay, so... This game controls almost like Diablo or a MOBA, like, your character has numerous abilities he can select from, you know, as you unlock them, and they're hotkeys for him, so definitely bind hotkeys for him, because otherwise you're gonna have to click on each of his powers off of the main menu, or the in-game menu. Right, it, it's It's structured more like a point-and-click game, but they give you the convenience of shortcuts, so it would seem... Yeah, I don't think the engine apparently was built to be what it is going to be. I'm gonna read this, because I'm not sure how legible it's gonna be, but it's... Yeah, I can't read Dehon, it, so... Great disappli- dis God damn it. Great disciple of the cast of the 40,000 moons. That is a lot of moons. You have slayed and then devoured your brothers because they lacked courage in front of the mysterious evil that decimated your universe. Is that the universe of the 40,000 moons? Bravely fighting I assume him in your fortress temple, you gradually lost your mind, and in a moment of lucidity, you took your own life. Your body and soul drifted through the spirals of time, going back to the origin of everything. When you woke up in the temple of evil, you felt your hate towards this evil hadn't faded. You will have to follow an initiatory course that will lead you to confront this evil, guided by your father and mentor. Go, man. Will you keep the promise you made to yourself? What promise? That you wouldn't let the evil take over? Uh, Is that the promise? It, I don't know. I really don't. I didn't play the first game, so... Um... Spoiler alert, the synopsis that just gave you is the storyline, I guess, to the prequel to this game, that this or that this game is a sequel to, uh, Vigil Blood Bitterness, which, as far as I know, you cannot buy directly on Steam anymore, you can only buy it in, like, a pack of other, with other games. Um, you can buy it by itself, I believe, on Gamer's Gate, not to be confused with, well, yeah, anyway. So, this, uh, you go to Adventure Mode, and then you pick the first level, and then it asks you if you want to load game, which... Say yes, that's basically start the game. Kind of not so good, but... Um, this is one of those useless loading bars that just keeps going back and forth. It's always a sign of quality is a loading bar that doesn't know what it's doing. It's just indecisive. It's like, well, am I loading or am I not loading? I don't know. You tell me. We'll <laughs> use his remains as my bed. Oh man, I told you the story is great. I will force you to be my meal. Okay, I'm gonna turn the volume up on this just a little bit. Just gonna pause this a sec. I am Dehon. 
Well, this is fairly convenient. Uh, there is actually one button that is bound by default that you can't rebind that they don't tell you about. If you hold down space bar, it will pause time and then you can rotate the camera, and that's the only way you can do it. Hey, it's like a terrorist. It's really weird, but yeah, the controls are like a point and click adventure game, like a LucasArts game almost, because. In order to move, you have to constantly click. It's not like Diablo. You can't hold and then, you know, drag the mouse. And the way that your special abilities work at the bottom of the screen are work a little bit more like a uh, adventure game that you have to either manually click on them or hit shortcuts to activate them, and then you can use them. It's not like a MOBA game where each button corresponds to your ability and then it goes off. No, in this case... What happens is you select the power and then you can use it on mouse one or left mouse. Mouse two is move or right mouse, whichever you prefer. And yeah, uh, everything you do in this game costs money, except for punching enemies. So I don't know if there's text popping up, but your father wants you to punch him. You can actually see yourself punching him in the cutscene. That's great. Uh, and I'm sure this is going to be illegible, but he's just like, yeah, punch me so I can feed off your energy and then go burn some really fat guy or something. Like, most of the game involves you, like, punching or dealing with the fat guy, pretty much. <laughs> Dad, please don't include your BDSM fantasies. <laughs> well, you are kind of dressed, uh, you kind of are kind of dressed for it, so I don't know. If... You are wearing kind of like bond the bondage gear, like a... Like a dom or something, I can't tell. It's just leather. Oh, I, I'm... That's a pretty... You've already beaten the first stage. Oh, we beat the first stage. Congratulations, you punched your dad. That was... You have unlocked the first arena level, or the second, whatever. I fire. Uh, okay. Okay, you have unlocked a new ability. I think it's called pull or drag or something. Yeah, I forget what button it corresponds to. Uh, you have a radius for it. Most of your abilities have radiuses. That's teleport. Teleport is kind of weird. Everything's kind of weird. So yeah, uh, almost everything you do costs power, and the only way to get it back is defeating enemies and then eating them. Um, you take a long time to eat enemies. I'm noticing this. Uh, here's the thing. Um, if you need to look at the bar at the bottom, you see each of those red squares? That is your health, and also your energy meter. Um, once that's full, you don't have to eat anymore. You can always click away uh, from an enemy. Um, you should have the wall ability, which is probably going to be your best friend for most of this game. It just blocks enemies and you combines with your other powers. Whoa, just teleport, teleport them. I am rapidly Um, teleport teleports you, but if you're next to the spikes when you teleport, it creates a shockwave. But, um, here's how teleport works. You click it once, and then you click where you want to go next, right away. Like, if there's a very brief delay, but oh, I you still have to do it very quickly. That's confusing. I'm glad you played this. Well, it took me, okay, it took me 30 minutes. I think it took me, like, 15 minutes to figure out how to play the game, and then it took me, like, another 15 minutes to actually fully beat it. Because I got up to this point and was confused, because it's like, what do they want me to do with this guy? What you need to do is you need to use the power that drags him, and then throw him into the door that you can't see, because the camera is kind of at a weird angle. So the door you just entered, you need to slam him against the door for some reason. Why, I don't know. Oh, okay. That, that makes perfect sense. That... Yeah. Right. You can. They do give you your mission objectives at the bottom of the screen. They tell you what to do. But it's not very helpful at all in the slightest. You can also dodge roll and click on him and then drag in a direction wherever you wanted him to dodge roll to. And I believe it, it, he's temporarily, if not invincible, then he can't be uh, objectives and stuff. He can't still be hit by fire. You'll slowly gain more powers, but spoilers, the best power in the game is the impale because it impales and slows down the weaker enemies. And for the bigger enemies, you simply lay down a wall and then impale the wall and it creates like this huge explosion of shrapnel that kills everything. 
So yeah, you probably don't want to punch one of those guys. You don't have Impaled yet, but you can combine it with your other abilities. Like, you can actually use Pool to pull enemies into the walls, or you can punch them, and that'll create Shrapnel as well. It's not as good as some of the other combo abilities, but it works. Some of this, actually I'd say 90% of this I had to figure out Is so loud. Yeah, like just then, I'm standing. Right. If you teleport near fire, it makes the fire like a gajillion times louder for some reason. Oh yeah, I mean, that's... that just makes perfect sense. Okay, I think I. There you go, and then that should lead you to the third level where you're going. Actually, wait, I forget if it leads you to the second or third level. I think it leads you to the third level, where you have to escort the fat guy again, I believe, or do something. And then the, fi the, the final level has you fighting a bunch of guys with guns. So is this a game? And it makes no sense. I don't know if it's a game or a student project, I will be honest with you. This seems like a, uh, like a proof of concept. I'm honestly wondering if the adventure mode is just a tutorial, like there is an arena mode and the arenas do vary a little bit in terms of length and how you have to combine your abilities. The arena mode isn't terrible. I mean, it's made worse by the fact that the controls are terrible, but it's actually functional. But everything in this game is such a confusing mess, it's hard to tell where the game begins and reality ends, I guess. I don't know. Uh, suffice to say, this game is probably the worst game on Steam that is also completely functional. It works, it's just, uh, I, I don't know. It just, it works, but not in a way you would want or expect or hope a game should work. You're actually playing this pretty well because it's really hard to tell how badly this game controls until you're actually playing it. You're actually uh, making this look like a pretty good game so far, I hate to say. That's concerning. I don't want people to get the wrong impression here. No, I think they should. This is basically, I'm going to be frank with you. This is, this game is the next Bad Rats, or at least I wish it would be. This is the game you should be gifting all of your friends in spite. Because Bad Rats, that's kind of old hat. You know, we all know that one's pretty bad. Monsters Challenge Circus, on the other hand. Completely different ball game. Yeah, no one, no one knows. I'm trying to remember what the- I think you need to get the fat guy out of the thing again and then slam him against that door or kill all the monsters or do something to forget. You gotta get the fat guy again? I'm pretty sure, yeah, and you- You might want to kill those guys that are shooting you because that's the only way you're going to be able to heal this level. You can kill them? Yeah, you just had to pull them out of the fire, I think, although I can't remember if they respond to pull or not, but you can't get them out of the fire. They don't seem to respond to pull. Uh, in that case, there's something you can do to knock them out of there, and I forget what. I think you just have to walk up to them, and they'll slowly move away. That's a good design. <laughs> I know. I think what they wanted to do is they wanted to have turrets. Like, these guys are clearly playing the role of turrets because they're in fire, so you're not supposed to want to get close to them, and they just aimlessly shoot at you. But you can actually slowly coax them out of the way and kill them. Deal. Which I don't think you're supposed to do. I think what you're actually supposed to do, thinking on it, is you're supposed to get the fat guy and slam him into them. And then have him burn inside the fire that they are, uh, sitting in. I'll give it a shot. It's... I, I don't even remember how I beat this level, and I just played this fairly recently. This is like watching a really bad, like, acid flashback or <laughs> something. It's like, yep, I remember this, but I wish I didn't. You, yeah, you gotta keep, you gotta keep, uh, pulling on him. Yeah, you keep... While not letting him breathe fire on you, because he's a big jerk. Yeah, he just keeps... So. He's pretty limber for a guy as big as he is. Yeah. He's nice. He's like really impact these guys. Well, Did you click out of the window somehow, or the, uh... No. Oh, I... I died. Oh. Alright. 
I don't know if you're supposed to get the... It says make the fire being face itself. Well, the fire being is the fat guy. Oh, okay. So, I don't know if you need to have the guys, the two guys that are shooting at you, shoot him. Uh, I don't even remember how I beat this level. <laughs> and that's bad. Okay, can they hear me now? Did you fix the fire issue? Yeah, people can hear you. Okay, I think what you actually... I'm trying to remember, there's one of two, a few things you have to get him to do. You either have to have him kill the rifle dudes by slamming him into them, you need to get him to the end of wherever it is you are, and then slam him against the door again, or you kill the, the, kill the gunner guys and then you, uh, then you drag them around. Well, I am hitting them. Him. Them. I do die before I achieve it. Right, because your your powers all consume your health, and it's really hard to get health in this level. Wait, you died? What what just happened? I get shot. You, you, you died and then you stood game. back up. It's not an easy Deal. game to master. It is not. Uh, I should know, the last time I played this game, I actually got it to crash in an interesting way. Or rather, I got it to hard lock in a sense. Because what happened is I was playing an arena stage and I was doing really well and then a bunch of enemies came out and killed me but I must have been using a power at just the wrong time that the game basically would not let me access the menu. I couldn't exit, I couldn't uh, restart the game, uh, none of the prompts worked. I could select my abilities but I couldn't do anything with them. So a uh, good game, uh, whoever made this game. I don't remember what their names are. Who did make this game? I think it's like ah, free gamer or something. That's how you kill him. I figured it out. Oh, you throw the uh, spike ball into him? Yeah, you throw the spike at him. Oh, I didn't even think to do that. Oh, I got it to. I, I managed to beat it somehow without doing that. I'll tell you that much. Well, I don't think you're supposed to do that. Well, then maybe you are. It's hard to tell what you're supposed to do in this game. Well, at least in adventure mode, in arena mode, it's way more obvious. Because okay, all you well, can do is kill the monsters. We have full health, and we still have to make the fire beam face itself. I assume you have to do the same thing you did last time. You gotta slam them into the door that's through the fire chutes up at front. Yeah, probably. We'll go. We'll, we'll go try that. Let's go. It's like te techno sort of stuff, if I recall. Like, okay, the production values, this game, if they had actually made it more functional as a game, it might have been a weird cult hit as it stands now. It's like some avant-garde art piece that is also a game. Yep, I was right. I do have to slam him into the door. I remember this now. That is two levels, actually three levels they dedicate to you slamming a fat guy into a wall. And then you beat the level. Well, it's two levels, and then the first level has you searching out the fat guy. Yeah, I think I killed the game. You died right while you uh, beat the level, didn't you? I think so, yeah. Here's the story arc in the game so far. First level, I gotta beat up my dad. Second level, I gotta throw a fat guy against the door. Third level, I gotta throw a fat guy against the door again. But this time at a different location. So that was the end of that level, Third level, right? I should just go to uh, level four. You should be able to go to level four, assuming it unlocked for you. But it doesn't look like it did. It didn't unlock. All right, we'll go beat the fat guy up again. I'll have I'll have everyone know that Snobu made me pay five U.S. dollars for this game. <laughs> I hey I didn't I didn't tell you to go out and buy this game. I said it was probably one of the worst but most functional games I've ever played, which is true. You explicitly told me to buy it. I might have coaxed you a little bit, but I don't think I explicitly said you should spend your hard-earned Australian dollars on this game. This 
cost me, yeah, this cost me like an entire day's worth of everything. This yeah, the inflation in Australia yeah. is terrible. This game basically killed me. Well, you know, this is an experience that transcends food, so... I'm gonna stomp to death because of this game. Alright. Yeah, get, get in on that guy's face. Did you notice that that guy's mask is uh, directly from his head to his crotch? Yes, I did. It's, uh, it's, yeah. That's an interesting gas box position. So uh, try not to die, because now you have no means of healing. Oh, they shoot at you anyway, so... Right, but I think the idea is you're, you're supposed to not kill both of them. You're supposed to get the fat guy as far as you can, and then, you know, like, then stun them, so you have health, so you can slam them against the door. I don't know what they were thinking. I am impressed that you can actually finish this. I mean, that's the thing that gets me. Well, right. I, as I've said uh, before, this is a functional game. It functions, just not as intended, perhaps, but you could beat it. You can. There's a story. There's bonus content. Uh, there's everything a game should theoretically have. I mean, you can control it. Um, it's got graphics and sound. Other than that, though, uh, it's kind of dubious. Congratulations, you've beat a fat guy against the door. Now on to level uh, 3 or so. Technically level 4. Is it level 4? It hasn't done anything yet. Uh, do you need to do something else maybe? Maybe you need to actually go through the door. Like you have to reach the door physically. Alright. The one where you, yeah, slam the fat guy. Okay. I will say I like Dehan's design. I think it teleported me here. What are you supposed to do? It told me to place I can't yourself remember. in front of the reflection of the fire beam. Yeah. I guess you had to go. It teleported me away from the door, and now I wanted me to. And then forced you to go back to the door. Well, you know that's what they call uh, padding. Like this game advertised itself as lasting three to four hours, and I assume that uh, refers to the light amount of padding, the crashes, the. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Game this game could last three to four hours. It feels like an eternity. Now this next stage. Um, as far as I know, you have to kill all of the uh, guys in this stage, and that's all I can figure out. There may be more stages past the first four, but I don't remember. Or rather, it's not that I don't remember, it's more that, uh, well, I don't know if you can actually beat this game. But yeah, there you go, you see how powerful Impale is, that's a really good ability to use. Um, it doesn't work against all enemies, like, these guys are immune to a lot of your attacks. So, I'm not yeah, to there's a bunch of them. Fight. Yes, but you can eat them, and they're they're kind of pushovers in some ways. Yeah. Now you can't kill those guys in the alcoves. You have to teleport in there and then punch them or use whatever ability you want. You can also use the wall ability. That works. You can plant one inside there and then impale it. Yeah. But these, the gunner guys are immune to most of your attacks. You have to kind of kill them indirectly or just punch them. Yeah. That's, uh... Or drag a spike wall into them or impale the spike wall, etc. Yeah. etc. Et I'm pretty sure that means I can place a wall. Activate. You can teleport in there too. I don't want to teleport in there. That's, that's chunks. <laughs> Take the spike wall, you move it next to them, and then you activate and pale. Right. That's all you need to. That, that's it's, you... Again, it's almost functional. Like, some of the ideas here are kind of cool that your, most of your abilities are indirect or are meant to stop your enemies or um, allow you to manipulate them. Like, a pale is pretty good against the weaker enemies because you can impale them and then pick them up and then throw them or do whatever you want with them. You can also pale them against the spike walls. The, by picking them up and then throwing them into the spike wall. Well, I guess you could. Well, there's no other real means of meaningful interaction with this game, so... Yeah, I am trying to Everything find you the, do in this game is kind of meaningless, really. 
I'm having a lot of trouble teleporting in my room. Oh well. You might not be able to, actually. Maybe you can only put supply quals in there. I don't know, I might have been able to do it if I got my angle right. You know, it's, it's hard to tell what actually will work in this game. So yeah, the spacebar actually does help against these guys a little bit. Because yeah, it protects it, you. Well, it lets you select your powers. It does provide some defense, yes. Wow. Tremendous. Take care of that guy. Does he have to despawn before I can move on? I don't know. I don't know if a door opens. I'm trying to remember. I wonder if I just gave up on this stage. It's like, yeah, I either... No, you... I'm trying to remember what you have to do. Is the fire being in this stage too? Do you need to drag him around through this area too? Drag him everywhere. You can't take that guy anywhere. Actually, if I recall, I think the stage glitched out. I opened the door. And I had to restart it. Oh, right, yeah, once they all despawn and once everything is destroyed, you can go in here. Oh, cool. Like, I have three brothers. So, uh, spoilers, they say you have to do everything at the same time. You do have a 360 attack, but nothing I could figure out could actually... Yeah, you just, had to, you just had to time it just right. You had to be fast. 360 attack doesn't do anything to these. Right, that's what I'm saying. You have one, but it doesn't actually destroy all of them at the same time, which is what I thought you were supposed to do, but no. You can't drag these, so you have to... You just have to be fast about it, I think. Like, really fast. Yep, we did it. Oh, and I believe that is the end of the game right there. We you have got the origin of our hate. I will be Dehon from now on. So yes, uh, as I was saying, Doom Reaper crushes evil. I, you, you got so pissed off that you said, I'm gonna eat the evil, I'm just gonna go to evil's home dimension and eat it. And then we punch your dad and he's like, uh, actually you are the evil, and you're like, shit. You know, you could sell this game unironically as an art game, and it would probably sell like crazy. I'm surprised they didn't do that, because again, it feels like some sort of like a student project or like some sort of commentary on the futility of game design. <laughs> Because it is kind of pointless to play. <laughs> Alright, well, I mean, this is... Oh, this is... It's got a full video set of what your powers are. Right. They, uh... They, they explain powers how they combine. Transmitted when he was a child by Gomen, his mentor. Dehon can use his powers whenever he likes, but each power he uses will decrease his life force. The only way to get some back is to eat his enemies. You know, rolling is considered a power, but I would have just thought it's an ability. But what do I know? Well, the mighty ability to dodge roll, you know, that's something you have to be given a... That's an ability you have to be given at birth, so... Oh, you can impale an enemy directly? Yes, but only weaker ones, and that's only relevant in arena mode. Right, because there's no weaker enemies in the other one. Some enemies are immune. There's two kinds of weak enemies. There's, like, guys that don't do anything, and you can just beat them up freely. There are slightly larger variants of those enemies that will actually chase you and try to attack you. Uh, there are the bullet guys and then the fat guys. And the bullet guys are best dealt with with your wall ability. By slamming them into the wall or slamming the wall into them. Or... But impale is a useful ability because you can impale a weak enemy and then pick them up and drag them around. I think we crashed do... the game by clicking adventure mode. Well then. Yeah. I'm getting that. Well, you know, three to four hours of content, most of that's hidden behind loading screens. You know, uh, man, how do you measure these things? How do you measure game uh, I, content? I managed to get it back. All right, there we go. Okay. Oh, wait, no, we lost it again. All right, yeah. I'm going to reboot Dehon again, because... All right, let's go Hunger and Flesh. The oh. arena modes are just difficulty selection, basically. What Some are easier and harder than the other. I don't know, a bunch of guys in, like, uh, swim vests? Right, now we're here. Ready, let's go. I choose to fight the people. I 
Uh, I will note that in this mode, that in some of the levels, you actually will have to teleport to another platform. Your teleport ability, you'll know that you can do it because you'll see another platform with enemies, and the current platform will have no none left. Yeah, that makes sense. You can use the 360 against walls, I believe, to make the walls uh, create a shockwave or to damage enemies. I don't. It's not letting me teleport. It's not big on that. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Ha! None can harm Mighty now on it. It's the asshole walls. <laughs> and then you just impale him and it kills everything. And that's pretty much all I did in the arena mode. That or like throw enemies into the spike ball or throw the spike balls at enemies. You know, I feel like that idea, like the idea that you summon like walls and spikes and then you manipulate them and that's your primary form of defeating enemies, that would have worked really well in a better game. That would have been interesting to me. I mean, the impaler is pretty cool. Yeah, it is. It works as well. And, uh, on, yeah, on. you have to be within a certain radius of the corpse in order to feed off of it. If you're too far away, you can't. How do you roll? Is this not working now? Uh, you click on Dihon himself and then you drag it uh, oh, in the direction. Oh, you have to and then, yeah. Right, it's the movement, not the, um... It's the movement button. Yeah. Oh, I got my telephone works now. You can't teleport into enemies, though, which is kind of lame. You can't telefrag them. Yeah, well, I guess you definitely yeah, can't have everything. I feel like it should have had more than it would have had, though, so it's not saying much. I feel like it should have been a more complete game. For five bucks, and it lasts about 30 minutes, you know, your first time through for the story. There is the arena mode. That would add another 30 minutes, maybe tops. That's if you want to play this. Right, exactly. Hey, I will say this. At least it's short. It's an awful game, but, they, you know, it's short. So you're like, well, I wasted five bucks. I don't even know how I own this game. Like, I just have it in my <laughs> Steam collection. I think I bought it with thinking it was another game. That's my only explanation. <laughs> That I might have, I don't remember, that's just it. I'm pretty sure I spent my hard-earned money on this at some point and thought it was a different game. Where I just looked at it and said, yeah, this looks kind of cool, I can, I can dig it. I didn't expect uh, to get what I got, I'll say that much. Yeah. What did we get? Well, we got Monster Challenge Circus, and clearly you're in a circus challenging monsters. Your execution may occur soon. Fantastic. I don't know what happens if you beat all the um, arena levels. I think I got up to the third or fourth one, and then I got into that situation where it hard locked basically, where I died, but I was somehow still alive and couldn't access the menu. Wow. Well, which is what happened to you. So. I, uh, if I had to guess, you're not going to unlock anything of meaningful significance from this. <laughs> Maybe we'll unlock some decker games. Oh, if only. See, I would feel bad about saying this game's not very good. Because I'm pretty sure it, it looks like a student project. But if you're gonna put a student project up for sale as a finished project... On Steam? Yeah. You know, like, you, you lose the, oh, it's a student project defense when you're selling your products for money. Then it's, it's not a, just a student project, it's, it's gotta compare with everything else that's being made. I should note, you cannot feed on the fat guys, so keep that in mind. Well, that's, I wouldn't wanna feed on the, the one fat problem. guy anyway. Right, but they explode, and I don't know if being near them hurt damages you when they explode. Let's I find know. out. I can't say. Well, now we won't find out, because I think it'll be their reason. Oh well. You just punched the fat guy enough times. You punch Bravo, Dihon, you got it. And then you win. Sometimes their strength is their weakness. <laughs> what does that even mean? Uh, well, you punch a fat guy, and then he explodes. <laughs> oh! Well. That's not supposed to happen. Okay, let's see. Let's read the features here of this that this game is said to have. 
uh, an anguishing atmosphere for a real gaming experience. Okay, I can I I agree with that one. Angry? Gameplay yeah. access to powers never seen before. Mm, yes and no. Oh, this level's called the end no. of the game, but it's no the third one. <laughs> okay, so third feature: full 3D universe with dynamic cameras. There's only a single camera, so half of that statement is true. No. Two game modes. When you're in the game, it switches to the front-on view of people, and then you can see your own limbs. Oh, right, right, that's true. Okay, two that's game modes, dynamic, arena yeah. where you fight incessant waves of monsters, or adventure where you evolve in a storyline mixing action and adventure. Debatable. Debatable. Well, uh, do and you... here's the final feature. Duration goes from three to four hours. Um, yeah, I mean... <laughs> how do you grade that? Because you could play the arena multiple times. Right, I guess there's that, but there isn't an endless arena. The arenas can be beaten. Like, yeah. it is a game that can actually be beaten within probably an hour your first time through. Well, probably less. You're already to the third arena, and you've only been playing this for, like, 45 minutes. Well, I'm sure I could have gotten stuck on the game forever if uh, you hadn't explained. That's true. That does help, but... I don't know if obtuseness is necessarily uh, grounds for saying your game has long-lasting content. No. Because if part of your game is just built on not being able to complete it in a timely fashion because it's a confusing mess, that doesn't really qualify, I think, for gameplay time. Otherwise, you know, looking at an FAQ, um, watching a Let's Play, whatever, would count as gameplay time. Uh, it does, according to the YouTube content filters. That's true. Like I said, there are things about this game I kind of like. I like, again, that your powers are mostly defensive. And you're supposed to combine them in interesting ways. They actually managed to make that work. It's just that the controls don't work. They're a mess. Uh, the visual, like, the game is really hard to read. The visuals are really messy. Like, there's this constant, really nasty film grain filter over everything. The colors are very muted. It's hard to read any of the designs of the game. Um... It, it crashes a lot, <laughs> I mean, as we've seen. Uh, and I, I know I harped on the controls just a few seconds ago, but again, the controls, like, good lord, it just doesn't work. See, I don't know if they were purposely going for something different, like they were saying, well, we can make an action game that doesn't play like an action game. Well, that's why it wouldn't surprise me if it was a student project. Right. It's very typical of student projects to be like, hey, Let's make something that's nothing like anything else. Because you just ignore convention because you think that you're better than it. And then this happens. Did you die while feeding on him? No, I'm fine. I'm great. Okay. I'm you said best. something happens and I might be slightly behind on your stream. I'm, I'm the best at death one. <laughs> well... You're the only person I've seen so far that has actually managed to complete both modes, because there is a YouTube video that lasts about five minutes. It's a speedrun of the adventure mode. Uh, the entire video is actually less than five minutes long, so not counting cutscenes, the game actually takes about three minutes to beat if you know what you're doing. But Someone I did not see him complete the adventure mode. <laughs> I would love to see a tool-assisted speedrun of this game. I wonder if it would fall apart as they like mess with the inputs and whatnot. To do things as fast as possible. This is definitely a candidate for awesome games done quick, though. <laughs> I. This is not running on any particular engine either. I think this is coded from scratch. I believe it is, yes. It doesn't seem to be Unity, it doesn't seem to be any other sort of engine that it's I'm just, familiar it's just with. programmed in C, I think. Another testament to it being a student project. Because it's good to see that the floor of the arena looks weird even in uh, even on your video because I was wondering if that was my video card overheating because like I said it was really making my video card run and like not even crisis got my computer that hot hey if you um you can go into slow-mo and then zoom in and zoom out with the mouse wheel yeah 
Ah, oh, nice. Alright, now I can get a nice Bat. cool stuff shot at the fat man. <laughs> oh, it looks like he's a just bouncing around. Baby. Wait, I... the fat guys sound like screaming babies? No, they look like screaming babies. Yeah, kinda. All of these characters are someone fucking around in ZBrush. Well, they actually don't have, like, okay, they're not just raw export from uh, ZBrush or uh, Sculptress, though. Well, they clearly no, are actually. That would be like 40 billion tries. Right, so they might have made a, a, a high res model and then created a low res model and done the typical uh, normal map thing. Yeah, Which is, that's. You're getting pretty this standard. Is all of those uh, very overly normal mapped games. I'm not even convinced they have any textures, really. Like, just a normal map, and... Because everything has kind of one flat color. I think it is... I think, I think there are textures, they're just very monochrome. Like, it's black and white with a bump map applied, or a normal map. You know... But yeah, the, if you don't... If you can't see it on this video, the floors of the, the arena, some of them, like, the, they aren't... There's something wrong with them, like, they, they shift weirdly. I don't know what it is. Well, they've applied a, uh... To the well, it's like a displacement map that went wrong or something. I can't tell what's going on. Help, I'm surrounded by goobers. <laughs> oh, yeah, if this happens, uh, there's not much you can do but teleport out. Or impale them all. Yeah, I punched them all. Because I'm really great at this game. I'm dead. You're not dodge rolling, though. You're not dodge rolling like a no. bro. That doesn't even consume uh, energy. I died and got punched a lot. I'll keep that in mind. We're gonna try this again, cause oh, dude, the game. Okay, that's actually what ha the game almost hard locked for you, cause that's what it did to me. I actually stood up, and it, it was treating me like I was alive, and I couldn't do anything. It's okay. We made it. We did it. All right. Let's. Uh, you can't skip these. There's the gods level, my son. Stay calm and enjoy the moment as afterwards. Like, let's let's. I want. Okay. Let's zoom in on me here. See. Like, you know, there's texture work on him. Not, you know, mostly him. He has had a lot more attention than the other character. He's the primary character. He has the highest uh, poly count, too, if you notice. Yeah, of course. The fat babies do, too. They actually have a t slight texture to them in detail. I feel like Although... the, uh, the fat babies just probably... There wasn't meant to be that many on screen. Or it was an accident. I think most of the stuff in this game was an accident. <laughs> Again, though, it's a functional game. It is the worst game on Steam you can buy with for five dollars that actually functions. You can play it as they intended you to play it. It's not broken. It's not unfinished. You know. Well, maybe unfinished. I don't know. I'm not willing to call this the worst game on Steam. Uh, yeah, there's there's definitely worse you could spend your money on games that were never finished or patched properly or were left in a bad state, aban you know, abandoned by the developer. I couldn't um, teleport and I died. Come on, game. I got this. I'm not sure what my character is supposed to be. I'm not sure what any of these things is supposed to be, other than the fat babies. <laughs> also, it looks like he's wearing, like, platform shoes. I just noticed that. I, he is, yes. He's wearing le hot leather pants and, uh, platform shoes. <laughs> or hot pants, rather. Hot, hot pants that are leather. Oh, well, you gotta have He's wearing, pants. like, a leather vest or a leather, like, uh, suspenders. I'm pretty sure he was just on his way to, like, a BDSM club or something, and he just got mixed up. <laughs> well, it it's like, this isn't what I wanted, guys. This is not what I signed up for when I wore this getup today. Alright. Over here. Surround myself in spikes. I notice in the uh, arena stages you can generally teleport farther than you can in the main storyline, and I assume that's for exactly the reason that, uh, that you can see here, that you need to teleport between platforms that are really far away. Oh yeah, no, I, I... They got some stuff going on, it's just... It feels like this is, you know, this is just an extreme alpha, basically. Like, as far as the design work goes, you can clean this game up and make it an okay game. You just have to clean it up. Right. 
Although you mentioned games that are horribly bump mapped or normal mapped, um, I would love to see you stream Operation Matriarchy at some point, because that's another really big game that'd be worth um, other people actually seeing. Those people are horrible people. <laughs> I'm dead again. This is not an easy level. Alright, restarting. You gotta dodge roll, man. You're not dodge rolling like a pro. Haven't you played like any of those, like... Would you play like Bayonetta or DMC or any of those dodge games? Roll in this game. You have to move the mouse over the character and then slide around like an idiot and get like stuck in the landscape. <laughs> That's how you. I'm telling you, that is the key to success in this game: is the dodge roll. You haven't even finished the this damn game. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta kill all those guys with guns. These gun bozos. They're the ones that are causing problems. But yeah, like, uh... Very well, interesting game. You know, it's, um... They took all of their design cues from Clive Bach's Jericho, I think. You know, that game used to be on Steam. I was actually going to just buy it when it was cheaply on sale, but then I noticed that they had been delisted at some point. But I actually do own, I think, a physical copy here somewhere. I just didn't want to drag it out. So, that gets delisted, but this gets to be on Steam. It just hit Steam recently. I, I looked at it, and it came out within the last... Five months? Let me look again. Hey, I'm not, you know, it's a game. Uh, May 15th, 2014, so a year ago. Or is that when it. When did it hit Steam, though? Because sometimes the uh, release date isn't the date that it hit Steam, it's the day, date that the game actually came out. I don't remember seeing this until very recently. I know it's been on Gamersgate, or it's on Gamersgate, so maybe it, it was published there first and then it finally made its way to Steam? I don't know. I mean, I believe it was on Greenlight. Let me check and see if it's on Greenlight. Like, with the Greenlight. Green light. Who Greenlight Well, okay, they, went, they, were, they were going to go through um, Greenlight, and then I think what happened is they got published by Strategy First. This was published? Which, if you're familiar with Strategy First, you know what sort of games they publish. Well, I, I know what I'm not seeing it on Greenlight, so maybe it was on there and then I got removed once they got a publisher. That happens sometimes. I'm feeling a massive spike in difficulty in this level. So maybe this is where the uh, three to four hours thing comes from. Yeah, I mean, this is a tough level. The enemies keep spawning in, and they... Well, it's the god level, so I guess, you know, I'm, I'm not a god. You're merely a gourd. Maybe that's what Dion is. Maybe he's a pumpkin man or something. He said kind of looks like a pumpkin. Yeah. Why not? I mean... Are, are they all fruit themed? Vegetable themed? <laughs> That, could ex that would explain the spike walls, though. Those are clearly pineapples. Right, I think I know what to do. I've been, I've been a fool. I haven't been using my, my new and improved drag feature. You can also drag enemies into the spikes, too. That works. But usually it's just better to just impale the spike, the spike wall. Well, you, you can't drag the, the gunners, and they're the only ones that... Uh... Right, and that's the one time where it would be better to uh, drag this wall itself. Because these guys are real stone buckets. So looking at this, um, what would you say the worst game on Steam is? Or rather, are there any ga other games on Steam that you would say are similar to this in terms of quality and ineptitude? Um... Because again, I brought up Bad Rats. Well, there's quite a few indie games I have that are just not fun to play. They're just crap. Yeah. Like, they're feature complete, and they function as a game. They're just boring. This one has a fairly unique approach to um, everything. Right, it, it's like I was... I think I said this at some point, but it... It's very close to being a cult game. Very close. It just kind of misses the mark. Well, this game feels like outsider art. 
Right, you could say it's even an alt game. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go with that. Huh. Yeah. They didn't let the fact that they clearly had no idea how to make a game finished stop them from releasing it on Steam and charging people money for it. <laughs> and, uh, and lying on their Steam page about the contents. Well, some of it's a lie. Most of it's just, like, misinterpretations, really, when you get down to it. Well, uh. yeah, it's... But, you know, it's, it's mis... It's, you know, mistrue. You can also teleport the spikes, but it doesn't really do anything. Uh, if you teleport near it, it's supposed to create a shockwave or something. Alright. I was reading all the combinations. There's a bunch with the wall. Like, every single power interacts with it. If it doesn't interact with the wall, then it interacts with the pool in some way. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing, like... I've not played a game that uses a mechanic like this. Like, there's, I've literally not played a game that has an identical mechanic to this. So... Yes, it's confusing garbage for the most part, but the, <laughs> but the mechanic is unique. Ah, sweet! I am worthy to succeed to evil. So Dihon is the evil now. Someone is. I'm just is sort it? Of... Is he talking to the floor? Is that what's going on here? No. I mean, Are you clearly he... supposed to be in the center of that, and he's in talking to the floor <laughs> instead? Ah, uh, we're going back to the menu. I so that's game. the entire game then. No, it's uh, it's just popped up as quit the game. I yeah.